you've been asked to give Christian a grade. So he's about to take a report card to his pen. And you get to pick which measure of central tendency you use to send Christian's report card home. Now, we're going to pick two of them today. But I want you to turn and talk to your partner for 30 seconds, and I want you to tell me, if you had to pick two of these for Christian's final grade for the report card, which ones would you pick? Ranger. Which ones look like a good summary of Christian? The normal type of grade he got. Talk about it for 30 seconds. Talk it out. What do you think? Accurate. Yeah. Accurate. It's just 100 minus zero. It's what? It's just 100 minus zero. So it's 100. Okay, so you get to pick two, right? What else would you pick? The median. Why? Because more than the mode and the mean. So, so what would the grades be that you're giving his parents? 100 and 70. Yeah. A 100 and a what? 70. And a 100 and a 70. How does that best represent how he's doing in this class? Um, well, he's doing good on 100. What do you mean? How do you know he's doing good on 100? Because it's 100 and it's a high score. Because 0 minus 100 is okay. the so range. So for the range? Is the smallest number to the biggest number. Good. So that's the definition of range, right? How many hundreds did he get? Only one. So does that really represent how he's doing overall? It's math is Oh, so you're just trying to help him out, getting him high scores. Yeah. Oh. You want us to do that for you? If you get 100, we tell your parents, oh yeah, they're doing great, they have 100. You get a zero and perfect. He has a zero on something? Yeah. So how would his parents know if I'm his parent, and I'm like, oh great, my son's doing awesome, he got 100%. Shouldn't I know that he also got a zero on something? So he can get help with that? I mean, he has bad rates, he's like 40, 40. Okay, so what does he have? 100. What are the other measures of central tendency that you can choose from? Okay. So let's see, if you're given a choice, if you're given a choice, do a what's one thing that you pick? The range. Okay. Why'd you say the range? Because it's the highest score. Okay. So you as a person would be nice and you want to you want to make Christian's trip home pleasant. You want to make his parents happy by giving him 100. So that would make Christian look the best, maybe. But we're trying to see which one is most like him normally. Would you pick a different one besides range? If you're going for what was normally Christian's grade? Um, the mean. Okay. Maybe the mean. And let's go with Dominique. What else do you uh, The median. Median. So Dominique, why'd you, why'd you pick the median? Because 70 is like an alright number, it's like passing mode. Okay, could someone tell me why they didn't pick mode at 40? Why would I not pick that, Louise? So it doesn't relate to what he's doing, because he has on the high and some low, but 40 is too low. Too low. Marco, would you be upset if you got uh, 180, a 70, and 90 in a class and then you looked at your report card and you had a 40? Yeah. yeah. I'd be kind of upset too. I'd be like, well, I don't know why I did any of the work. So if I were to answer which one is the best, I would say these two. Because they both kind of show me right in the middle what kind of student Christian would be on like an average day. Has he gotten a 40? Yeah, but he didn't usually get 40. He's usually in the 70, 60, 50 range. And that's what we're just trying to do, right? We're just trying to find out what's Christian's normal grade. What's the best middle prediction here? 